It's it, not it, just a young, younger person's mm. thing, it's a nostalgic thing, and it's about when you place the needle on the record and you hear the crackles and you want to find out who's produced it and you for record collectors out there they want to find out more information about the artist the producer if you buy if you buy a cd it's it's a similar deal but with an mp3 it's just a digital format with vinyl it's more personal and you, you've got it for life mm. but i remember i remember back when people were making the move from vinyl to digital forms of, of music and it was all about the quality yeah. and, and there is there is a diminishing in quality when you move back from digital to to vinyl so so what has changed in that regard are we just not simply as picky about it it's not so much the pickiness i mean for me when i'm djing i uh, dj on both formats so i dj on a digital format and sometimes i do vinyl only um nights and when you place the, the vinyl and you hear the needle, I think it's the, it's that, 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 that vibe of just hearing the record going round and with um, putting a CD on, it's literally you're pressing a button. So it's, it's the nostalgic value and I think also it's, it's what record's all about. Mm. I think it's, it, it's, it's, that, it's, it's, it's down to the function of, I suppose, being a bit geeky. I mean, yeah. uh, you, you, you've got, I mean, I've spoke to one of your, your colleagues on the way in and I said, well, um, all these people who have bought, say, David Bowie or Amy Winehouse, do they have any record, do they have record players? I mean, yeah. obviously there's a boost in, in record players, but I mean, I was reading a piece today that uh, a record store in Hackney might be closing down because they can't afford to, to pay the rate. So obviously there's a resurgence in, uh, in vinyl sales, but with regards to traditional retailers, I'm, I remember going to a record store in Kentish Town Road, it was called That Record Shop, mm. and walking in there, and there was that whole relationship with the guy behind the counter who would put records behind the counter for you because you had that relationship with them. And if there was a record that came over from America, it, imports, they put it behind the counter, but See, that's all changed. See, I remember, I remember going to a shop in Glasgow, now to party 23rd Precinct, going home and my dad seeing the bag and saying, you know, I used to buy my, my records there. Yeah. The problem what was is... What did you buy? I, I was house and soul man myself back in the day. Got to shake your hand. Of course, obviously. <laughs> I, know I, look, I know I look like a complete square, but, you know, back in the day. This, though, on, yeah. on the screen here is the problem. It's just 5% of yeah. the album's mm -hmm. market. I mean, we're not likely to see it get much more than that. Online oh, streaming, so, I reckon, downloads... I reckon so. I reckon there'll be an increase. I mean, you've got rate stations like Six Music, BBC mm. Six Music, which dedicate, have a lot of specialist shows which play vinyl only mm. and the thing is it's down to the accessibility where you can get vinyl from and I mean you've got Tesco you've got um, HMV you've got all those other places but it'd be great to see a resurgence of those specialist stores where you can walk in there you can see the man behind the counter but most you're of making, them are all closed. You're making me nostalgic. And we could carry on talking about for this for hours, believe me. Uh, Edward, I'm glad you're a house and soul man. You made my night. <laughs> West coast of Scotland, we all were.